What's going on guys? It's your boy Sam from Sammy's CBD TV coming at you guys with another review guys another one so 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 I don't know I'm super pumped anyways guys um we did it we got to 500 subs in fact we're over 500 right now and uh I'm super super grateful for everybody that subscribed to my channel yo like that's what's up so I just wanted to speak on that. I want to speak on that first, all right? I'm just messing with you. I'm being goofy today. But listen, listen. Guys, we got to that 500 subs. So what's your boy going to do for y'all? I'm going to be giving away an ounce of Hawaiian haze, guys, all right? This is going to provide you with sociable and relaxed effects okay guys this right here is slow cured and hand trimmed <clears throat> let me just get a nice smell of this stuff before I, before I give it away just to give you a little bit of a peek of what the what the nugs look like guys here it is all right so this is going to be the Hawaiian haze guys it is an extremely pretty purple green flower guys covered in trichomes guys you're gonna get a whole ounce of uh a whole ounce of this and this is this is ass chuck <laughs> it's it's one of the best outdoors you can get um hands down it's one of the best companies for outdoor flower um <clears throat> so comment down below um you know do me a favor comment down below how long you've been a subscriber for uh, approximately and um that's not going to reflect you know who gets when who's the winner or not okay but i just like to know these things so comment down below how long you guys been with uh my channel and uh like the video you must comment and like the video in order to be entered into the uh the winnings because if you don't do both you're not going to be included okay so here's the uh, bubba and remedy strain um Rogue Origin has been having an issue with bugs in their Bubba Kush strain, um, specifically the Bubba, because um, it is an outdoor, uh, you know, flower. So it, it, it can happen that there's bugs in them. So until they get it corrected, guys, don't order any more Bubba. I'd like to check this out, though, and see. See if there's any. Ooh, that smells good. I don't see any issue with this flower specifically. See, it just it falls right off. I mean, this stuff here is so fresh that I might. I mean, if you had a grind, you might need a grinder for this flower. <laughs> here's uh, here's one of the uh, Bubba, Bubba Remedy nugs. Um, just to give you guys a little bit of a look here, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a second in this video to to really to really give you a, a feel. For what it looks like okay so there it is guys um this stuff is it's some of the best uh, outdoor flower that i've seen to date i mean it is it, uh, guys look at this it bounces right back literally it actually you can watch it move slowly right back look all right this is extremely cured to perfection guys so i just want to make a, a note to you guys that um upon Upon a closer development and looking at these uh, flowers, I want you guys to know that I do not see any bugs in this strains. Okay, so this strain here, there's no bugs in, and this is the Bubba Remedy. Um, they're Bubba Kush though, like I said, um, some of it has been compromised by uh, pests out in the fields and whatnot. <clears throat> but so yeah, I mean, it's a great product, guys, all around across the board. I mean, look at it. I mean, it, it really is a great product. So, guys, go ahead and check out uh, Rogue Origin, guys. They got some great stuff. Um, but I, like I said, I do want you guys to know that it's it's good flower. It's phenomenal. I'm gonna include some pictures up above um, of the uh, the strains. Um, so yeah. Uh, let me think here. One second. One second. Alright, so, yep, Bubba Remedy, serene and focused, so yeah, I'm super excited for that, 
I'm super excited to get to smoking because I, I really haven't smoked much today, guys. Um, but at the same time, I also want to, to let you guys know, like I said, um, you know, we're going to be launching real soon, uh, Sammy CBD. Um, I'm actually looking at a 50-50 uh, a partnership with somebody else who's really involved with uh, the cannabis community. Um, and uh, yeah, we're, we're looking at possibly making some real big, big moves, um, even bigger than what I had envisioned. So um, if that's the case and it does happen, that'll be great because it's just going to be really good for the business. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah. I'm looking forward to uh, finding out if if we're going to pursue that or or if it's just, you know, up in the air. So we'll figure that all out when that road comes. Um, I did order all three new strains of the uh, Arute CBD guys. Um, a lot of you guys know I did the uh, the releasing video for their uh, Grumpy Gorilla, which was really cool because I was able to review it before uh, it was available for purchasing, um, which is really, really cool, and that's awesome. Um so yeah, I purchased all three of those strains. I bought an eighth of each because I don't want to go too hard and buy something that I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. Um, I'm sure the strains are going to be just fine. Uh, I noticed Todd is pushing more toward the uh, creme de la creme because uh, I think that's what he recommends as the best strain out of those uh, strains. Um, I just noticed he's been mentioning that name a lot more, so I'm assuming that's the better one out of them. Um, so yeah, looking forward to that too. But yeah, guys, let me just hit this Remedy Bubba real quick and we'll get back to this uh, little video. Alright guys, so this is 11.6% uh, CBD guys. I just wanted to, to do a couple, I just want to do a little general information on the strain because after all you guys, you know, you want to know. So, uh, so yes, it, it does have the rose bouquet with elements of pine and rose hip. The smooth full flavor is rich in the legendary kush taste with accents of grapefruit. Um, that would be the strain, the uh, taste that I was getting that I couldn't really describe is uh, the grapefruit. Definitely has that, definitely has that. Um, very piney and definitely has the grape to it. But at the same time, I do want to also um, note that I'm not exactly sure what rose hip is. I know it's uh, it's like an herb. Um, I don't, I don't remember smelling it. I know I have, but I don't remember exactly. It's been so long ago. <clears throat> so... Let me just get this light back on. This light here, man, I, I forgot to charge it, guys, so sorry about that. I'm doing the best I can, guys. The best I can. Um. So, yeah, anyways, so that's cool. All right. What I like about this is that they slow cure it, um, and they, they hang dry the whole plant, and slow cure it, and then they uh, hand trim the uh, flower. That way they can uh, preserve all the crystals and all that stuff in it. <clears throat> so let me take the hit number two, guys. So I'm getting uh, the taste profile is mostly earthy, um, followed by uh, the pine, but you definitely get the grapefruit in there as well, especially when it's a green hit. Um, so I'd say towards second or third head, it's tasting a little more um, earthy than anything. Oh. <clears throat> it's definitely piney though. Don't get me wrong. Very piney. Um... Yeah, actually, you know what? I just said to myself in my head, I'm like, screw it. I'm going to put some more of this, uh, this, uh, crumble on top. I always like adding some of this, uh, CBD crumble to it because it really makes it taste a little bit better as well. It adds a little bit of that sunset, uh, oh, I love it. This shit is 97% pure distillate wax, by the way, guys. This is, uh, distillate wax, so you guys know... If you guys know anything about this little wax, you know it's potent. <clears throat> I 
That was a really good hit. So yeah, I'm extremely relaxed feeling, but I'm extremely energetic right now too. I want to get right to it. Um, <coughs> man, I'm just sitting here thinking like how much I like this uh, this Remedy Bubble. I mean, it's freaking fire. Best outdoor, hands down. Best outdoor. If you find a better outdoor, let me know, please. In fact, comment down below where the best outdoor flower you think is. I mean, and I'll be glad to tell you if that's the case. Okay? But mainly this video, guys, was basically because I just wanted to say thank you um, for subscribing to my videos and watching my content. Um, I know that, you know, not every video I do is going to be perfect, you know. And depending on the effects, too, sometimes I talk more than anything because the effects are more of a, like, sativa, you know what I mean? So, naturally, it's sociable, right? Um, but, yeah, I just want to take a moment to thank everybody for subscribing to my channel. Um, I try to I try to keep everything interesting. Um, I'm always coming out with the new strains, uh, you know, so most likely we'll see what happens, but I'm hoping to get my strains very rapidly. Um, I have the new five-leaf strain coming in the mail. Um, I did want to let you know that I do know of people that are struggling right now because they got um, arrested with hemp. In fact, um, JB from Five Leaf Wellness was actually sharing that um, he got pulled over with uh, hemp and they actually put him in jail and then they tested it and whatnot. Then they ended up dropping the case. But if that is the case, guys, I want you to know that law enforcement is not being an asshole. They are doing their job because the field test kits are not very particular, which means that you could get some hemp flower with low levels of THC in it, they can test it in the kit and it will come up hot because after all, there is trace amounts of THC in it. So for them to take you to jail, it's not their fault. They're doing what they know to do with the little bit of technology they have, okay? Once they send it away then, then you most likely will be released and charges will be dropped. Um, so you can't really be mad at the law enforcement for just, you know, doing their jobs. I mean, come on. If anything, it's the state's problem because they federally... Uh, you know, the 2018 farm bill, but they didn't give anybody equipment to fully tell if it's hemp, CBD, or it's, it's strictly THC. So, I mean, <laughs> bottom line is, okay, let me make this message clear. Don't ride around with an ounce of CBD flower on you, okay? Because that's actually what happened to this dude, JB, from Five Leaf Wellness. And um, <clears throat> it was two grams over, so it became a felony charge because they hit him with the distribution or whatever. So... Um, this is not the first case I've heard of this. I've heard many people now getting uh, in trouble. My my other friend, uh, he unfriended me and stopped talking to me because he's paranoid. Um, because he ordered from uh, a company and he got pulled over with it. Now, you know, if it really was CBD that he's being honest with, then he should be able to get out of it. If not, I don't know what to say. Bottom line is don't ride around with you with your hemp on you. I mean, it's hard to mistake the two. And actually, one of my subscribers buys hemp and sells it for real weed. And I'm not going to say his name, but yes. So, what do you expect the law enforcement to do? I mean, they don't know. They know what you tell them, but if it's an open package, I mean, how are they supposed to believe you? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. So, moral of the story is, if you're going to ride around with it, bear the consequences, okay? Because it's going to happen. I mean, that's life. <coughs> I don't ride around with that much on me at all. In fact, I usually only ever have like a gram on me, if that. So, I don't know. This is that Abacus Diesel. This, this stuff smells... I like the way that one smells. Let me just break a little bit and nugget that up. Um, so, yeah, guys, I mean... Anyway, so, I don't know. I, I want to know a little bit more about you guys. Um, I know I got a lot of subscribers, and I only see a handful of people ever commenting. So, I'd really like to see a lot more new people. Um, really just trying to get to know y'all a little bit. Uh, tell me your favorite CBD hemp flower, and tell me how long you've been using CBD for, and if you have any questions about CBD, because I, be, I would be honored to try to point you in the right direction. Um, I tend to know a lot about CBD flower, actually. Um, I'm obsessed with it in a way. Not just the CBD, but the nature of the botany behind it. But <clears throat> if you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to, to message me about them and uh, try to help you out the best I can. Um, but all around, uh, I like CBD flower. It does nothing but wonders for me. All right, guys.
Uh, Biscuit Diesel does taste good. I'm not going to lie. It makes any bowl taste good. Um, so, anyways, guys, like I said, comment down below. Comment how long you've been subscribed to me for, and then like the video. If you do both those things, you will be entered into the giveaway. Okay, I will know if you didn't. All right, trust me. Um, so, you, you have an option to win this ounce of Hawaiian Haze, which is right here. A whole ounce. All right, nice big old bag. An ounce. All you got to do is comment down below and like the video. How long have you been subscribed to me? Comment down below. Then just go like, and then you're entered, all right? I don't want to hear no, you know, last-minute entries either. Like, I'm, I'm going to pull when I pull it. This shit's fire, though. Anyways, thanks for tuning in, guys. I'm out.